Okay, so <clears throat> another Ponzi scheme, but um, I'm kind of pointing this out because the owner of this one is also the person who owns Stable Fund. So this is called the Farmhouse. And if you have a look at DAP Radar, okay, so DAP Radar is basically um, a DAP which looks at uh, DeFi projects and, and, and can analyze the transactions and all of that. And you can see um, on DAP Radar, the Farmhouse has basically gone from here. So if you look at the volume, so it's the purple line, okay, which is the important line. You can see that the volume has gone from like 1.15 million, and you can see that it's flatlined. It's like $40 or something there. So obviously, occasionally, some people still put some money in it, okay? But basically, this is a dead project, okay? Now, if you have a look at um, the audit, okay, the important thing is, if you have a look here, the high high issues, okay? Now, what it says is the high issue. The system used is called ROI, okay? So that's re return on investment and must be considered as, as high risk. Users' principal deposits cannot be withdrawn. So in other words, you put a thousand pounds, thousand dollars in and you can't withdraw it. Now, users can get dividends and referral commission. Okay, so dividends are paid from deposits of other users. Okay, do you always invest with proper knowledge and investigation. So, so that is the important line there. Dividends are paid from deposits of other users. So in other words, more other users coming in pay the existing users. That is, and that is the definition of a Ponzi scheme. Okay, so the person who created the farmhouse also created stable fund. Now at the moment, if you go on DAP radar and look at stable fund, you can see the purple line, you can see it's going up, okay? So what that means is more people are joining, joining stable fund, they're hearing about it from other friends, okay? And this is how the word is spread, it's not, well, he has actually uh, used advertising because he's actually put it on some taxis um london london taxes okay advertising stable fund getting 1.5 percent uh roa on a di daily basis um so at the moment this is going up so if you've got your money in here for now it's kind of safe as it were okay it's stable if you want to use that word but um eventually this will go OK, if if more users don't come in, it will go because he's not. I don't believe he's trading your your funds. And if he was. Uh, well, he should be um, he should be registered. OK, he's registered as a business, but that's not the same. OK. Uh, you know, he's not like in. It's not like uh, Fidelity. For example, if you go to Fidelity, type in Fidelity. Okay, we look at Fidelity. And we go right down to the bottom. Okay. This website is used by Financial Administration Service Limit, which is authorized, authorized and regulated by the Financial Con Conduct Authority. Okay, FCA. So... Now, on his stable fund account uh, website, you go to the bottom, he'll just have um, his limited company address, uh, limited company name, and is basically a virtual address in London, which is occupied by another like. 150 businesses okay so it's not quite fidelity <laughs> okay so there's nothing wrong in what he's doing there having a, a, a virtual address okay i mean his actual address i think is in scotland somewhere but i'm not going to say what that is but it's quite easy to find that information out assuming that he's actually not lied about it and he's not lied about his name as well because who knows okay but um that is the farmhouse anyway 
Uh, it's an old project. Obviously, it's dying. He doesn't, pro doesn't care about it. He's just leaving it up there now and gets the odd uh, punter, I guess, putting some money in. Okay, but okay. basically, this is a dead project. The guy, Michael, behind the farmhouse project is also behind Stable Fund. So I'm saying buyer beware. It's just like more evidence to say beware of Stable Fund. Okay. I mean, it's got a lot of money in this. He's scamming a lot of people. You know, he's just onto the next crypto scam, this guy. You know, and he's fought up with a very good one, I've got to say, pretending that he's creating some, in, um, some money by using robots. Very clever. I've got to hand it to him on that, that score. But it all is a Ponzi.